last but not least, uh, this is a really good word uh, for you to know. Uh, it's enthalpy because it sounds so weird. Uh, it's really easy to ask a question on. Uh, and it's actually a fairly simple, uh, basic concept. Um, when we deal with heating and cooling, specifically cooling, we're talking about comfort. And we talk about comfort, we're talking about two different issues. You're talking about temperature and you're talking about humidity level. Right? Both of those, you can't talk about comfort and not talk about both. Right? We've all been in the situation where you've been somewhere and it was 90 degrees, but relatively low humidity and it felt fine. And you've been somewhere else where it was, say, 82 degrees, but really, really high humidity, and it felt horrible, right? It's not just temperature. It's the combination of the two of them. When we talk about temperature on a thermometer, we're talking about what's referred to as sensible temperature. That's something that we can look at on a thermometer, and it goes 10 degrees higher. It's very straightforward. That's a sensible temperature. That's a thermometer-based way of looking at it. Uh, latent heat is a different concept. Latent heat is dealing with the moisture levels. So uh, for example, if I'm boiling water, uh, let's say you're making spaghetti, you put the big pot of water on the, on the stove and uh, I'm heating that up. Um, I have uh, the, the flames are on and it's making it really hot. As that thing heats up, uh, as it gets hotter and hotter, right? Eventually it starts to boil. Like that energy is going into it and it's making that water hotter and hotter. And now it's boiling. Well, it's still boiling, right? The water is actually still at 212 degrees, roughly. It actually goes up a little bit, but it's still boiling, but the heat is still on underneath it. So where's all that heat going? Well, this is the kind of issue. It's going through that process of uh, the transformation from water to steam is able to accept an enormous amount of energy uh, in that process. So we use that for moving heat and cool around all the time. This is a related issue to the refrigerant loop. So the concept of enthalpy is that it's the total heat. So this means if I need to move the temperature of the office space from 82 down to 75, but I also need to move the uh, moisture level in that office space from, say, 76% uh, relative humidity to 53% uh, relative humidity. I have to do both of those things. Those are two. One I can do by changing the sensible temperature through cooling. The other one I have to do by removing moisture. And that there's an energy it takes to do that. And it's how I feel comfortable in that space. The energy it takes to do both of those things would be the enthalpy. It's a way of looking at both elements together in one number. And there you go. It's a really good one to know. Today's ARE Live episode is an extension of our online ARE curriculum that you can find on blackspectacles.com, the home of online learning for architecture and design. If you need to prepare for the ARE, which I assume many of you guys do, and if you're looking for a good way to study for the exam that's more flexible and easier to digest than the traditional exam prep materials, then head over to blackspectacles.com to try out any of our free ARE video tutorials that are taught by tonight's presenter, Mike Newman. As an attendee, and as you can see here on the screen here, we have a couple of notes or information for today's episode. Any Anyone who is attending today's session, you're eligible to use this coupon code worth 15% off the first charge on your individual membership. If you're one of those folks who would like for your firm to purchase Black Spectacles access for you and your colleagues, just visit blackspectacles.com slash business, which is this fourth link here, and we'll send all the information for your firm to get set up. And also from now until the 15th of next month, firm memberships are 15% off if you mention this episode when you submit your form through blackspectacles.com slash business. Also on this, you'll see that our next webinar will be on May 27th with Mike at six o'clock. So if you'd like to register for it, here's the registration link. We're still firming up the details and the actual topic. So if you have any suggestions and would like Mike to cover a specific topic or would like us to interview someone in particular about a specific topic, please let us know. 